G'day guys, welcome back. We're going to have a really fun day today. Fun in the studio with paint. I have got these little silicon brushes and I thought how fun would it be to swipe with those? I wonder what it will do. Because you know when you use a piece of paper towel and you tear the paper towel and you get that slightly little um, serrated or jagged edge and you get these little lines? So I was thinking, what else could give lines? And, um, I thought maybe these would. Now, I got these came in a set of four. Just got them from eBay. And uh, actually, these colours have inspired me. So orange, red, and blue. Now, the green, I haven't got green because I know that the yellow and the blue are going to make green. So that's what we're going to do today, hey? How fun's that? Woohoo! All right, so let me move these out of the way. What I'm going to do first after cleaning down my canvas. This is a 40 centimetre square, so 16 inch square canvas. I'm going to flood it with this um, navy blue first, and then I'm going to lay down my colours, and I'm going to swipe up, and I'm going to swipe down. So that's what I'm going to do. The pouring medium that I'm using today is just good old Floetrol. Uh, the Australian Floetrol is pretty thin, well, in comparison to the US one, it's the thinnest. The US one is a little bit thicker, and then the Oatrol, which is the European one, is the thickest of all. So if you're using this, you don't need to add water, but if you're using the others, you'll have to add a little bit of water. So my base coat is four parts Floetrol to one part Montmartre paint. Obviously, this is not it, but that's what the bottle looks like, Montmartre. And I use the <clears throat> Thalo Blue for this one, and then I added some black till I got it a nice dark navy. So let's see how much we need. I won't put it all on there yet just in case I don't need it all. Actually let's go to my little palette knife. I do have a bigger one but I thought I'll just try this one. So nice good coating just for your background. You want your background to be the thinnest that way your other colors will just slide nice and easily over your background. The other colours, I've also just used Floetrol, but they're two parts Floetrol to one part paint. So that's the difference. The base is four to one, and uh, my colours are two to one. Easy, hey? Nice and easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's give this a little bit of a, a tilt. Actually, I'll just put a little bit more on just along the edges like that, because I want it to go over over my edges. If I put that like that, that'll help to run over the edges. All right, so let's just run this over the whole thing and smooth it out a little bit. Oh, I haven't got my lines down. I haven't got my lines down, so I don't know where to put it back again to see if it's in frame. That's what they're there for. If anyone's ever wondering what my lines are for, And um, that's why. So I know where to put my canvas back down again after I've lifted it up. I've got my sides done yet? Not quite. You could really flood your canvas, you know, so that if you, the paint just ran over straight away. But you don't want to waste too much paint, do you? Let's come back this way. I'll just run it over this side. And also it just gets rid of all your little lumps and bumps and makes sure everything's nice and smooth. waiting for it to come all the way down because it's been up the other end you see it takes a little while for it to all come back down again see there's still some black in there I haven't mixed it very well have I okay just do some finger painting there smooth that down and yep this side's done as well what about the back yeah, pretty good. A little bit missing just on the the corners there. Alrighty. That's it. Let me wipe my hands. I can't believe I didn't mix that black in very well. So I used my normal navy and it wasn't quite dark enough, so I thought oh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of a little bit more black to it. Let's mix it in. Mix you in. I don't think you'll notice once the swipe colours go over. Okay, there we go. 
we are all prepped. I've got a tiny little bit left, but I don't need it. Move that over there. Oops, it's fallen over. Okay, let me clean my hands. Better make sure that you're back in frame. Oh, yep. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, and I've got some white as well. So I've got the white. I've got the same colour navy as the base, but it's the thicker. It's the two to one. So that's my navy. That's my white. I've got the yellow, which is this one. Uh, medium yellow. There is another yellow, but it's more of a blue. It's called lemon yellow. And I've got brilliant red and orange. So those are my colours. I'm going to put you there. You're going to stand in paint. Right. Now, the, the trick for this particular um, swipe, hello if you can see me in there, in the mirror, <laughs> um, is just to put a little bit of paint on, okay? Because I want to still see some of the black background. So we just want to put a little bit and I like to kind of zigzag because if you just do one line and then the other color on top and then the other color on the top the bottom color gets lost whereas if you do little ziggy zaggies and start off here so that you don't get a big blob just a little ziggy zaggy like that you don't need a lot of paint I'm only actually mixed up 30 grams of Floetrol and 15 grams of paint which is one ounce and half an ounce but that's still going to be plenty for you know to do another painting down the track it's hard to mix up a tiny little bit of paint. All right, so I'm going to go again. I'm going to start off here because that's when you get a bit of a blob. And I'm going to just do another little line, but not necessarily over the top. So that I can, you can still see the different colours there, you know. <clears throat> uh, what do I want next? Actually, I'll go with some yellow next. And then my white. And some navy over the top. Like so. All right. So that's what we're going to swipe with. It's not a lot of colour, is it? <clears throat> um, now, let's see. Which of these looks the best on top? That one's not as wide for some reason. I might go with that one. It looks as if it's the widest. Okay, here we go. I'm a bit nervous about doing this. Um, now, <clears throat> need a bit of paper towel just to wipe my, I'll put that there, just to wipe this off if I need to afterwards. Right, here we go. I'm going to stand over here on this side. Ooh, so I'm going to, like when you swipe, you get all those different colours together. And um, I don't really know if I want to go all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to see. If I go, if I go pretty fast, it'll just kind of wisp. Um, or if I go slow, it'll drag it all the way down to the bottom. So, mm, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like, actually. Let's just let's just start, hey? Woo, look at that. Okay, it looks as if I'm going all the way to the bottom. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I'll just wipe that. And then the next one, hopefully, will be a slightly different colour. I'm just doing it really, really lightly. Pulling that colour through. Actually, even that's really quite... Um, like I'm hardly pressing, but it's still digging in a little bit. <laughs> really, really digging in. All right, let me try, see if I can do it a little bit light, a little bit more light-handed, hey? It's really hard to do. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get in the swing of it. I will. I'll get there. By the time I'm finished, I'll have it down pat. Oh, my gosh. My little thing came off. Let me put you back in again. <laughs> you can get um, bigger ones of these, but, you know, in kitchen stores or down at your local supermarket, I guess. But I just got them on eBay. Okay, down we go. I have to kind of go over a couple of sections where I've I've missed. It wasn't 
quite what I was expecting to do. What about if I just do like a wisp like that? I wonder what that would look like, like that. No, I'm going to have to go all the way down. So you try and only use half your colour so that your other half of the canvas can be, you know, your other colour. You can use the other colours on the other half. I'm going to fill in this little bit here because I didn't swipe all the way down with that one. You've got to use a really light hand here. <laughs> I don't know that having the navy on the top actually was the best idea because it's going to be very dark. <laughs> Not all experiments work properly, you guys. I don't know about this. It's <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Not loving it, I must say. I must say. <laughs> At this stage not loving it and you guys are all going oh my god she's lost the plot <laughs> oh radio um <clears throat> let's put a little bit more color on and i'm going to swipe again with the paper towel because that didn't work <laughs> it was worth trying hey it was worth a try just um yeah <laughs> didn't work let's put a little bit more color on And same, so I'm going to do the same thing. I haven't got a lot of colour on there, so it should be fine. Put a little bit of this blue on, but I won't put it on top. Put, um, I'll put some red on the top. Hopefully I haven't got too much colour now. Okay, let's get back to, move these out of the way. I have actually got some paper towel here, so let's swipe with that, shall we? And like I said earlier, the serrated side there. And I'm just going to put it on dry. You, don't, you can wet it if you want to, but you don't have to. I'm just going to pop it in halfway, like so. Let it touch, let it grab. And then just lightly pull towards you. Wow, look at those colours. Oh, don't drip. Actually, oh, look at those colours. Oh, my gosh. How different is that a light hand to a dark hand, a uh, heavy hand? I'm just going to cut this off, actually, because now it's got wet paint on, this, on the top end there and it's really quite heavy. I'll just fold it over. Okay, so now again, use the other side, the serrated edge. And I'm just going to halfway again. Make sure it's got good contact all the way along before you start. And off you go. Straight down, fold it over. Oh, that's really quite pretty. That's what I wanted, the stripes, and I thought it would work with that, but they're just too heavy. Oh, look, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Now I'm going to turn this around and do the other half. Can you still see? Yep. Do you like my stripes? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to cut this one in half first. So I'm just going to snip it through here. I'm going to move it away there just in case I drop it. Just snip it in there and then I've got two halves. So don't use your cut edge, use your serrated edge. Now over here, uh, we want to just overlap a tiny little bit. Make sure it's got good contact with all those colours. And straight down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I might even put a little bit of black through the center and do some little swipey things with black. I'll have to mix up some black though. I haven't got any. Just to give it a little bit more contrast, a little bit more interest. I think if you swipe a bit faster, you don't get your wiggles. Whereas if you go slow, you're trying to think, oh my gosh, am I going straight? You'll be getting some cells popping up too. I wonder what it would look like if I just put some black through the centre. I'm going to try that. I'm going to just mix up a little bit of black. I'll be right back. <laughs> 
with the black. I'm really quite undecided as to whether I want to do any more to it. I really actually like it. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's just, you know me, I like to experiment. I didn't make up a black. I just had this little bit of navy left over and I put some black in it. So it's almost black. Almost. So I just think it needs a little bit of contrast in the centre there just to break it. So what I'm going to do, I've got this little paint chip card. And what I thought I would do is just... Cut it like that and then need to, well I like to, I like to have a little curved edge. I don't like to have the the point because it digs in. So cut the point off so you've got a rounded edge there. I'm trying not to, ah, trying not to drop it in your work. That's what I was trying not to do but I wanted to show you what I was doing. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to have to swipe that little bit there. Get out. <laughs> All right. So little little bits like that. I'm just going to swipe with that. Okay. So let's put a tiny bit on. Again, I don't want too much. And I just want to break up this center here. So start here. Seems a little bit thicker than the other one, probably because I added more black. I did put a bit more Floetrol in though. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to use my little, little tiny swipey thing. And just do some little, little swipes. With the black. It is mixing into the other colours though, isn't it? I don't know if that's going to... Yeah, I don't know about that, you guys. All right, that doesn't look any good. Let's just put a little bit more... Put a little bit more of the Floetrol into that black mix there. It's always a risk when you like something and you... You know, you think, oh, I wonder if I can make it better. But then it ends up being not as good. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's all right. We'll, we'll keep trying. Now, I'll put a little bit more on here. I'll thin it out and just put it a little bit thicker. There we go. That's probably better. Okay. Now, what will I swipe with? I think I'll go with this again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into, into little pieces. like so. Let's see if I can just cut it into little little pieces. But I only want the serrated section, so I just have to turn it around so I can just get the serrated section. And let's just see what happens. If I can just like swipe just a little bit. I kind of wanted like a wisp, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. Oh! Oh, I did it! Woohoo! I did it! Okay. Let's try again. <laughs> Um, so I just want like the black to be blended into those colours. Let it touch. Oh, that didn't work. Went a bit fast. Lifted a bit too fast. Okay, let's keep going. What did I do with the first one? I don't know. That's right, go slower. Okay, go slower, Julie. Don't lift up because then it jumps. Just drop it, slow and lift. Drop it, slow, and lift. And you can have, I guess you could decide if you want more or less black. I don't want each one to be exactly the same length. I'll put that down, I'll use the next one. I'll start up here. <clears throat> it's easier for me if I stand here rather than on the other side. I don't know, maybe you guys don't like this anymore. I don't know. Let it touch. Drag. Lift. Probably don't need to even clean it because it's only going to have black on it. What do you think? Is it any better? Is it worse? 
I think this side's better. That's I've kind of it's kind of jumped there. I think it's because I'm going up away from me, whereas here I'm standing on the side and it's easier to control. I jumped a bit there. All right. Well, that's at least it's given it somewhere to to anchor it, somewhere to rest the eye. Hey, what do you think? Do you like it? Or are you going, nah, I preferred it the other way. Wish you could answer me. Mm. Oh no, it's all right. I was gonna put a little bit more black there just to break that up a bit. Um, what else could I do to it? What do you think? I might just turn that. And I might just go on this side a little bit more. This side looks totally different to me to, than that side. So I'm just going to go and try and even it up a bit. Okay, now I'm getting more colour through. It's because I'm dragging the, the black. I just don't like how it's jumped. And so, oh, I don't think I've got my finger in that one. Fixing up a couple of little areas that I don't particularly like. And then same here, just where it's kind of jumped a little bit. I should probably just leave it before I make it worse, hey? There we go. I think that's just even it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, that wasn't anything like what I had initially planned for this painting. Now I feel as if I just need a little bit more black. No, through the center, but then it might look odd. No, just leave it, leave it, leave it. Walk away, walk away from the painting. Okay, now what does everybody think? Love it? Hate it? Um, I don't know. I don't think I like the black in the middle, you know. I really don't think I like the black in the middle. I don't. I thought I might, but I don't. I'm going to go with over it again. With some more colours. I never haven't got any more blue left. Um, I've got a tiny bit of this base one left. If I put a little bit more of my navy in it, I can thicken that up a bit. And have a bit of navy again. Because I've turned all my navy into black, hey? I'll just add that little bit of paint to it. Oh, look, I'm just playing here, guys, experimenting. If one thing doesn't work, um, you know, I can, I'm happy to try something else. Happy to try something else. Okay, here we go. Some orange. And what else do we want? Some red. And then this blue. I should have stopped at the first one, hey, because it was quite nice, wasn't it? After the first, I just thought it might need some black. Oh, now I'm putting the white on top. That's a bit odd. I'm going to put white on top. Doesn't matter. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Now I need to cut some more of my paper towel in half. Cut, 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 cut. All right. <clears throat> Are we ready? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to blend this a little bit more oh god maybe that wasn't a good idea oh, I'm just a bit of a rebel today that's not going to look nice at all that's not going to look nice it's 
got a lot more white in it, hasn't it? Because the white was on top. It's not touching there yet. All right, here we go. Whoops, trying to go straight. <laughs> Yeah, depending on what um, you know, colours near the top will determine, I guess, what um, what your colours are going to look like, what your stripes are going to look like. Now I need another piece of paper towel. Um, where's my serrated edge? Just cutting it here off camera. Okay, here we go. I think I preferred the um, the brighter colours the first time round. Okay. Actually, well, I don't know. It's, it looked up, does still look nice with the, the white in there, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. All right, I'm leaving it this time. I'm not going to put any black down the centre. Might just give it a bit of a torch, though. Whoa! I haven't used this um, heat gun for a while. I'm just going to go slowly with it. Don't, like, shake it. When, when I shake it, it tends to um, flame like that. See, as I'm... Um, heating it, we're getting little cells coming up. So I thought maybe that would just add a little bit of interest to it. Not big cells, but it's cells nonetheless. See, the Floetrol has got um, an oil in it because it's a paint conditioner, so it has got oil in it. So whether or not you want cells, if you're using um, Floetrol, you probably are going to get them, whether you want them or not. And I just thought having a few little ones there might make a little bit of interest to that painting. All right, I think I'm done. I'm back. I decided there was one more thing I wanted to try just to see what the difference would be. You know how I put the paint in the squiggly lines? I'm going to put paint on again, but just straight, like on top of each other, because I've still got some here, and it's like it's not enough paint to do anything else with. Let me get my dirty gloves back on. Um, so I'm actually going to see what happens with um, if I just do that. Yeah, what do you think? So let's try that. So just straight. Yeah, if I can go straight. <laughs> um, let's go with some red. Try and get it over the top. Takes a little bit more patience to go straight over the top. And then I'm going to go with the, actually let's put the white, sandwich the white in the centre, hey? And then this is going to use up the rest of my paint because I, well, I've still got a little bit left, but. Um, actually, no, we'll have to do the blue on top because it's dark. I don't want yellow on top, hey? I don't think that would look very nice. Is there much left? Not much left. Not much of the blue left. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Right. There's no point me keeping all that. Well, there's not much left, but not no point keeping it. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut this paper towel in half. We'll see what the difference is. Whether Because I'd like to know what the difference is. Okay, here we go. So half, let it soak in. I need the other half for the other side. Okay. And the other one. So we're getting a more blended color. Not getting as many stripies. It's much more of a blended, whoa my gosh, I've gone crooked. Much more of a blended 
overall colour. Doing it that way, isn't it? Okay, let's do the other side. Let's cut this one in half as well. I thought maybe you guys would be interested to see, you know, what the difference was. Now, I don't want to touch, I don't want to touch that blue because I don't want the yellow to be pulled through. That little bit of yellow that's there. And by doing that, you get more of that darker centre, which is what I was looking for the first time around. Okay, now, I don't know if I can actually... Get a little bit more blue just there. Because I don't want to pick up, see that yellow there? I don't want to pick up that yellow and pull it through. So I just need to have a little border of blue there. Hopefully that's enough. Oops, uh oh, I think I've picked up the. Oh, can someone put some blue down there for me? I think it's too late. I think I've already got it on my paper towel. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, now I've dropped it. <gasps> Alright, here we go. <laughs> that one I dropped, so it's um, picking up more colour. Anyway, so there we go, that's the difference. You think? I actually quite like it. Well, except for that little bit there that I missed. That was a bit of a disaster. I was trying not to, you know, pick up that yellow to um so it wouldn't be dragged through. And then I ended up dropping the paper towel. Because I like to have that border of the dark colour through the centre there. <clears throat> it looks it looks like, um, oh, what do you call it? The, uh, the Northern Lights. That sort of, it's that kind of colour scheme. It's actually really quite pretty. I don't mind it at all. Okay, so now you have a choice. Now you have to say the first one, the second one, the third one, or the fourth one, hey. Just hardly got any paint left on the canvas here. Just, it kind of skipped a bit, just jumped a bit. So I've got that little bald bit there. Try and fix it up with a toothpick. Hopefully no one will see it. Uh, well, that was a fun experiment, you guys. I actually quite like this one. A little bit too much yellow there. Right, let's torch again. Popping some bubbles, bringing up some cells. You don't have to do this. I mean, if you don't want cells, then by all means, don't do this. But if you'd like a few little cells popping up here and there, then do it. Just do it. But yeah, you don't have to. Depends what you're going for, really. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm done. I've still got a little bit of paint left, but I'm not going to go again. Oh, all right, that was fun. I wonder if people stopped videoing after that, after I said goodbye. I'll say goodbye again. Let's go down for a close-up. Turn the ring light off this time. There we go. So there it is. So that, I guess, shows you the difference in doing the, um, the wiggly lines or just the straight lines. I actually think I prefer this. See, with this one, because I had the navy over the top, um, we've got that navy centre line there, which I always like, which was I was trying to get with that second one I did when I tried to add the, the black to the centre, but it just didn't work that way. But um, this is what I do prefer. So anyway, hopefully it wasn't um, too long or too boring a video. Hopefully you got something out of it. I actually quite like that one. It's reflection. If I could draw, I could 
you know, put some buildings or some mountains or something in the in the center there, and then it would look like a reflection. She wouldn't mind trying this again with the more um, Northern Lights colors. Yeah, let's do that. Somewhere down the track. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> I'm going this time. I've got a huge mess. Look at my mess. Look at my mess. All right, I'm going to clean it up. Love you all. See you all soon for the next video. Okay. Bye for now.